We get food parcels, which we've always gotten from Peninsula School Feeding Association because they are a renowned NPO. They do fabulous work and they've offered a wonderful food parcel for 155 Rand. So the area champions that we've aligned with um, are based all over Milnitons. We've used Ursula Barons for our Joe Slover and Phoenix pockets of families that are needing assistance. Um, we've also got Lungisa High who also um, supports and has a feeding and empowerment uh, scheme called Sifakele Sizwe. We've also got H18 Foundation Amanda Solomon. She's now supporting up to almost 85 families in Joe Slovo. Then we also support a community kitchen in Brooklyn, uh, which covers Brooklyn, Plot, and Rugby, and that's run by Nawal Adams. So th there's a lot of, uh, we try and work with a lot of different pockets of people so that we can spread the love, so to speak. Um, and that also includes baby care packs. So if any of these area champions have identified a pregnant mom or really just a mom with children up to, I'd say six to nine months of age, we also do things like the meal for four, which is, um, you know, uh, half a cup of rice, your lentils, your soup mix, your soup powder. I think everyone's uh, cottoned onto it and is doing it. There's the Woodstock breweries. So due to lockdown and the breweries not running at full speed, they converted their, do you call them cauldrons, into big soup making pots, if you'd like. And they're now distributing that out to, to different NPOs all over the Western Cape. So typically we get about 300 or 350 litres of soup together with about 300 loaves of bread in one um, delivery. And w then we've invited five different organisations to come on a specific day to the Millington Methodist Church. They come with their 25 or 20 litre buckets and they fill it up with soup, they take the bread that gets allocated uh, according to the need and they go back to their communities and then serve the soup and the bread. And it's, it's just been so great to see the hears and the, the love being spread throughout the community and how many people want to help and get involved and it's, it's really heartwarming and, and, and that's been life changing for me to be a part of that and I'd like to continue to be a part of it.